Yes, they are. And let, let me give you a little bit of background here. I, you know Ed Mitchell. Oh, sure. He's a fine man, and I, I, I respect him a lot. And Ed and I had a long conversation in Phoenix here a couple of years ago about what happened to him when he visited the Joint Chiefs. He, uh, he's been interested in this phenomenon for some time. And I always had a suspicion that Ed probably knew a lot more than he ever admitted to people. But he had told me that he had asked for a, a briefing from the Joint Chiefs here a couple of years back. And due to his nature and his name and the, what he had accomplished and the fact that he was literally one of our heroes, <clears throat> I understand that they gave him a briefing. Now, Ed indicated that they took him into the tank, took him down underneath it, the Pentagon, where this so-called secret room is. And he talked to a number of very high-ranking people. And he said, look, frankly, what in the hell is going on here? What is there to this issue on, on extraterrestrial intelligence, the reality of it, the UFO matter? And during the course of the briefing, they told Ed bluntly, you know, Ed, we, we really don't know because we're not in the loop. And That's the amazing. Joint Chiefs briefers told him that they were not in the loop. Apparently, the president was not in the loop. And very obviously, Congress was not in the loop. And Mitchell said, for God's sake, then, who the hell is in the loop? And these guys said, frankly, Ed, we don't know. So that was a bit of a, a blunt disclosure to Mitchell. And he told me later, he says, I was shocked by it. Do you have, uh, you, you're in the know as much as anyone. Do you have any idea or speculation about who is driving this issue behind the scenes? Well, I've got a lot of speculation, Mike, and, and yeah, I, I've been getting information regularly for several years. I don't know whether I've ever shared it with you, but I'm a, what I, a member of what I call the Old Boys Network. Right. And it's made up of a lot of retirees, both all services. And some of them are not retired. Some of them are still active duty. And I get input from people all the time, and it appears to me and to people that I respect that the loop apparently is being handled and is being maintained by what you would call a national security state, and that is the national security apparatus in our country. And that has become so damned powerful over the years that they have literally, as Ed Dolan or Richard Dolan has come out in his new book, we are dealing with a national security state, and our Constitution simply does not apply anymore. And that's why I get so damned angry about this and why I've tried so repeatedly to get the American people to stand up and pay attention. My God, this is the most important issue in human history, Mike. And it's being conducted and handled by the national security apparatus. And I don't trust those guys. I never have. And We're, apparently Ed Mitchell learned that uh, Congress was not in the loop, that the Joint Chiefs of Staff were not in the loop, and apparently the president, if he knew anything at all, was not in the loop. And we learned that the hard way by Jimmy Carter. And Bill Clinton acknowledged it, as I said, at least according to Dr. Stephen Greer, uh, and, and which is very scary, Bob, because here you have presidents throwing up their hands and saying, I can't control this when the president is supposed to be the CEO of the country and have the authority to do things, such as issue, for example, an executive order to release that information without having to go through Congress to do that. But I guess he seemingly believed that it wasn't going to do any good because whatever came out would be pablum and that whoever you're talking about here as the national security state would keep the real information secret anyway. Even I'm though... afraid you're right. Look what happened to Jimmy Carter. Now, he, he was a good man. He still is. And he made some promises that he was not able to keep. But there were, have been a number of people who were present at, when he attended his national security briefing after being sworn in. And they said Jimmy Carter came out of that briefing with tears in his eyes. And he never spoke about the UFO issue, not once after that, ever. Now, what in the hell did those security people tell him 